All right, we're back with another DaVinci Resolve video, and this time I want to share with you 11 insane plugins for Resolve. Now, these will not only help you edit faster, but also make for cooler looking videos, and honestly, basically change your life forever. Now, some of these are totally free, some have paid versions as well, but believe me, every single one is worth checking out, so let's dive in. All right, let's kick things off with a huge free plugin pack filled with over 150 individual assets. This is the Video Editor Studio Free Starter Pack 2.0, and you can find it on their website, link down below. You just enter your email and download the free pack. Then you get a folder with fonts, a DRFX file, an instructions file, and a license file. Just make sure to install all the fonts, otherwise some titles might not work. Then open the DRFX file and DaVinci will ask you to install the pack. Now this is going to be the workflow for installing most of these plugins, so I'm not going to mention that every time. Okay, once you're done, you'll be able to find all these assets in the edit page, under effects, in the title section, and the effects section. For example, there are these animated gradient backgrounds in all different colors a huge amount of different animated titles like this advanced off-screen title or this typewriter effect, but also other things like this bullet point text or this checkbox animation, these progress bars or progress circles, and all of these different infographic animations, an animated box, an animated circle. There's also a few social media animations if you need those. And here we've got even more stylistic text animations. So it's pretty nuts that you're getting so many customizable assets in this one free pack. Next up is a brand new plugin made by Mr. Alex Tech, a fellow YouTuber, and this one is called Magic Subtitle. There's a free version of this as well as a paid version. I've got the paid version here because it was just 30 bucks and it has a lot more options, but the free version is pretty handy as well. Once you've installed the plugin, you can find all of these awesome Magic Subtitles under Titles, Magic Toolkit, and then Magic Subtitles. In this paid version, you can see there are about 30 different options, but let's go for this one right here and drag that onto our timeline. I'm first going to make sure this clip is the same length as my timeline. One thing to note here is that this tool works best on shorter timelines like videos for YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. On longer videos, it will still work, but it'll have a harder time working properly. I think it's because it just has too much text to process on these longer videos. In the inspector window, I'm going to select the track where my voiceover audio is. In this case, this is track number one. And under compound, I'm going to select no compound, but you can choose to have it turn your audio voiceover track into a compound clip. Then I'm going to hit transcribe and it's going to use DaVinci Resolve's AI transcribe tool and analyze your audio track to create a transcription. Once it's done, you can see I've got a nice animated subtitle for my entire timeline. Then I can go ahead and fix any spelling mistakes if I need to right here or I can also enable this write on function, which is pretty cool. It makes the words appear on screen as they get spoken. I can enable full caps, remove punctuation, change some of the animation settings like the animation speed or how many words you want to appear per subtitle. And of course you can change the font, the color, the size and all of that. So besides having a bunch of presets already built in and ready to go, this tool makes it way easier to create animated subtitles for your short form content. The next plugin is going to make it super simple to improve your sound design. Because you know how sometimes you have the perfect sound effects for your video, but often they sound way too clinical or they don't really match the environment of your footage. You can of course get a lot done with EQing and using DaVinci Resolve's built-in effects, but honestly, that's a lot of work and you might not even be able to get the results that you're after. So that's where Soundly's Placeit plugin is going to be a huge help for you. This is another free plugin and once you've installed it, you might not be able to find it inside DaVinci Resolve, so you might have to go and enable it within Resolve. You do that by going to Preferences, and then System Audio Plugins, and you should see it in the Available Plugins list. If it's not checked already, you have to click it to enable it, and then hit Save and Restart Resolve. Once you open it back up, you can find Place It under Effects, audio effects, VSD effects. From there, you simply drag it onto an audio file in your timeline and this little control panel will open up. 
The two big dials are the main controls of this plugin. The one on the left is for your sound source, and the one on the right is for the space that the sound is going to be placed in. They both have an on and off switch if you want to only use one of the two, and with the sliders you can control how noticeable the effect is for each of these dials. In the middle there is this wall slider that basically lets you control how muffled the sound is, so almost as if it's coming from behind a wall. Under each dial you've got a drop down menu, on the left you can pick what type of sound source you want to emulate, and on the right you can pick what environment you want the audio to be placed in, and as you can see there are a ton of options to choose from, and you can also choose how long you want the reverb to last with this slider right here. At the very top there is another drop down menu where you'll find a bunch of different presets that are essentially just combinations of the sound source and the space. These are really great if you just want a quick result. Alright let's listen to a few quick examples so you get a better idea how freaking powerful this plugin is. Tonight on the menu we've got our delicious chicken parmesan. Tonight on the menu we've got our delicious chicken parmesan. Next up is something that you'll see all the time on YouTube and it's this right here, a zoom in. Maybe you want to emphasize a point or pull the viewer in or zoom into a detail of a product or whatever it might be. You can of course do this with keyframes and it will definitely get the job done, but thanks to Mr. Alex Tech once again, we've got a much easier and faster way to pull these off with a plugin called Magic Zoom. Also here there is a pro version and a free version for this plugin, but I'm just using the free version. Once you install it, you can search for Magic Zoom or you find it under effects and then Magic Toolkit. You can add it to a clip directly, but I actually prefer using this plugin with an adjustment clip, so let me show you. So I'll just drag Magic Zoom onto this adjustment clip. Then it will do that zoom action on the video clip underneath it for the duration of that adjustment clip. So if you want it to be longer, you can lengthen the adjustment clip, and if you want it to be shorter, you can shorten it. There's a bunch of customization you can do in the inspector window right here. You can change your X and Y values to determine where it's zooming in. You can also add motion blur to the zoom movement and you can choose if you want it to zoom in and out or only in or only out and also the amount of zoom can be customized. And down here you can even enable pitch or yaw to create other fancy zoom effects which are pretty cool. You can also add a camera shake to your zoom for a super dramatic effect. So even in the free version there's a lot of customizing you can do to make your super easy fancy personal zoom in effect. Now if you've kind of built your custom zoom effect on an adjustment clip like this, you can even save it as a preset by dragging that adjustment clip into your power bins right here. And that way you'll have that zoom effect ready to go each and every time for every project. Mr. Alex Tech also has another free plugin called Magic Animate. Similarly to Magic Zoom, this makes it super easy to animate your footage without needing the use of any keyframes. You can for example also zoom in and out, but you can also have your footage whip into the screen. There's also a spin option here which, well, spins your footage around, and there's also a dissolve control. The cool thing is you can customize all these animations and combine them as well. That way you can create your own unique animations. And again, if you use these on adjustment clips, you can save them for all your future projects, which will basically supercharge your workflow. So definitely go check out Mr. Alex Tech's channel. He's got great DaVinci Resolve content and as you could already tell, great plugins. Next up we've got Motion VFX who are a supporter of this channel, but I've been using their plugins for years now, so they definitely deserve a mention. Now if you're thinking, wait a minute, aren't Motion VFX paid plugins? Well, they actually have a few free plugins available as well, which are pretty cool, so let's check them out. If you head over to the Motion VFX website with the link down below, you can type in free in this search bar right here. And then you'll easily find some of the free plugins Motion VFX has to offer. One that I've been using ever since my final cut days is MCAM Rig. It does these dynamic camera move animations where you can adjust certain blur effects, tilt and pan effects, and you can get super creative with this and really easily make things look pretty fancy. There's also this M Hello DV pack, which has a magnifying glass tool, transitions, this retro effect, and a few other animations all for free. Or M Hello 3D gets you some cool looking 3D elements to add to your videos. 
So these are some really awesome free plugins from Motion VFX that you can play around with to help you level up your videos. And while you're on their website, I really recommend you have a look at some of their other DaVinci Resolve plugins as well. They've got some of the most useful tools I've seen for creators and filmmakers. For example, the MTuber series is perfect for YouTubers. MHowTo is one that I use a lot and is ideal for tutorial content. Or the M Title Mega Pack is a huge collection of 125 really unique titles to make your videos just stand out a little bit more. So I highly recommend Motion VFX for free and paid Resolve plugins. There will be a link down in the video description, and you can use the code STAN10 for a 10% discount. The next plugin I want to show you is called Mononodes. Well, it's actually a website where you can find a bunch of different DaVinci Resolve tools. Some of them are paid, but there's also a few free tools. The ones I really like are the magnifier tool. This magnifies a certain part of your footage, which is great for showing details on products. Or I, for example, really like using it for these types of tutorial videos as well. You can change the size, the shape and the border down here, or you can make adjustments using the sliders over here. And if you use it on an adjustment layer, you can also animate it a little bit, for example, by doing a simple fade in. There's also the crop tool. You just drop it onto a video clip or an adjustment clip and you then adjust a bunch of these settings like round the corners, soften the edge or even zoom. Next up, we've got Patrick Sterling's website. He offers a ton of free or very affordable plugins for DaVinci Resolve. You can have a scroll through his website, but my favorite one is the Tracked Image and Tracked Text plugin. Once you download these, you'll find them in the Effects panel under Effects, and you can then drag them onto your footage. Then make sure you activate the Fusion Overlay right here. That way you'll be able to see your tracker. Now just select what you want to track. So in this case, I want to track my hand here. Then I will hit this track forward button and wait until it's done tracking. Once it's done, I can choose my image by hitting browse, select this PNG for example, and there you have it. I can then change the position and the size of this image to have it the way I want it. And if I play that back, we've got a nice image track all done in the edit page. So it's super fast and super easy. All right, this next plugin is again totally free and it's great to add a fancy paper cutout animation to your footage or even to PNGs. This is the Paper Animator by Mr. Justin Edits. Again, after downloading it, you'll find it in your effects library right here. You can then just drop the effect onto your footage and boom, you've got a cool paper animation. You can also use this with green screen footage. Once you drag it onto your green screen clip, it will automatically remove the green screen and apply the paper effect. It will also work with PNG files, so you can make these cool animations of logos or other PNG images. You've got a bunch of customization options right here. You can, for example, change the paper texture, the edge thickness, the shape of the edge, but also, for example, change the animation by adjusting this wiggle slider and this wander slider. So a really cool plugin to add a nice paper effect to your videos. You've probably heard or seen this effect before called the slow shutter effect. You can create it by slowing down the shutter speed of your camera, and this will add a lot of motion blur to your footage, causing this cool effect. Well, the next plugin allows you to recreate this effect even if you haven't shot the footage with a slow shutter speed. Check it out. All you need to do is drag the effect onto your clip in the timeline, and then you've got a few settings you can adjust here in the inspector window. So for example, the trail length, drop off and motion blur. And the drop frames is what makes this plugin really cool because this makes the effect look more similar to an actual in-camera slow shutter by dropping certain frames. All right, last but certainly not least, we've got a plugin called Acid Blaster. And this is going to help you save time when you want to animate PNGs or titles. Here you'll also find a free version and a paid version, but I'm going to show you the free version. Now these are actually things you can already do with Resolve's built-in tools, but it just groups everything together and makes it a bit simpler and easier to do. Once you install the plugin, you'll find it under the Fusion Effects panel. And I'm just going to drag it onto this PNG file on my timeline. In the inspector window, there are a few settings we can change to do our animation. First of all, we've got all of our typical transformation adjustments on the top here, like resizing, positioning, and rotation. Next, we've got a few different animations, a few different swipes from the left, right, bottom, or top, a zoom in animation, and a roll animation. You can also tick multiple boxes and combine different animations. And at the bottom, there are a few different effects you can apply to the asset. 
things like VHS, Shake, Black and White, JPEG, Glow, and Edge. So that allows you to easily create animated PNGs like these ones. All right, that's it for this video. I'll have all of these plugins linked down below in the video description. So definitely go check them out and let me know in the comments which one you found most useful. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.